All right, here we go. First one up is gonna be a nine millimeter test. And today we're gonna to be doing the Winchester Ranger Bonded. That is a 147 grain bullet. This one looks like right here. And we're gonna be going through the jugs. We got five lined up with four layers of cotton t-shirts. Um, I have tested this one in the past also, but it was through bear jugs. So we're gonna see how this thing performs with the cotton. So let's set up, see if we can get some numbers and then put it through these jugs. Here we go. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we can get on this one. First shot, 1074. Second shot, 977. And third shot, 1032. So that was kind of all over the place. But uh, we'll see what we got for the average. So we got a low of 977.4, a high of 1074, and our average on that was 1028. So we'll put energy foot pounds up on that one. And like I said, that was 147 grain, so it's not too bad for this four inch barrel. But here we go, let's see what this thing can do. All right, we are setting back to 15 feet and we have our backstop up just in case this thing does not expand. Here we go. Alright, let's see how we did on that one. Alright, we got a cotton t-shirt over here. All in this mud, so it can get pretty dirty. Let's see, it looks like we do have our entry hole. And we do have our exit hole. So that is our four layers. And we got our first jug fell over here on the ground. Looks like we got a decently centered shot, it was just a little bit high. But it pretty much split that jug in half split it wide open and it looks either that's a rock or there's a pedal down in that jug but we'll pull that out at the end and see what that thing looks like and split the hole back and here is our exit pretty nasty looking one so far there we go that is first jug doing some damage and we got second jug same thing, hit just a little bit high. Still good enough. Blew out the left side and blew out the whole back. Look at that. I think it's still packing quite a bit of energy on that. And it was 147 grain, so it's looking pretty good. And once again, it does look like there's another pedal in this one. So we'll pull both of those out. We got jug number three. Now it looks like it's... Uh, Moving just a little bit. That one actually hit nice and center. Punch that circle perfectly. Blew the left side out. And we do have an exit. Nice center exit on that. And I don't believe there's anything rolling around in this one. And let's see. And jug number four actually sounds like we have something rolling around in it. But jug number five is leaking. So jug number four, a nice center hit. And it doesn't look like it came out, but it looks like it had enough energy to punch this last one and uh, just crack it so it is leaking. So we're gonna pull this one out and see what it looks like. All right, check that thing out. We actually got some awesome expansion on that. I didn't think it was gonna do anything, but it did. Looking real good, pretty much uniform expansion. That's about basically what it looks like out of the bear jugs too. So it looks like this cotton doesn't make any difference with this one. We did shed a couple petals it looks like. Not so much petals, there's just a little bit of lead that kind of came off. 
but uh, that one's looking really good. Perfect pill back on that. And we went through four jugs, so it was a penetrator. There we go. We'll get steel shots at the end like always. But that was 147 grain Ranger Bonded out of the 4-inch SD9VE. There we go.